Good morning. This video is a quick video about how to rig a throttle cable and a shifter cable up. It's definitely DIY and uh, you know, it's not something that I recommend as an official way to do. It's just the way I got it done. So I just wanted to add that quick disclaimer. Hope it helps. Good morning. I'm going to do a little video about how to install a remote throttle kit on a 15 horsepower Yamaha Enduro. Uh, the motor's not really designed to have anything installed on it. So there's some modifications I thought people might find interesting. I'll do a more extensive video. I've done one motor and I'll do one when I, a uh, more better video with the actual work when I do the second motor. But this is because some people have asked me, so I decided to do this for you. So this is the, this is the kit here. Let's start with the kit. It comes in a little box. I'll put the link here. This is for the, this holds the cables. This is not necessarily needed on the Romney or any of these builds because it's just, you put on the front handle of the motor if you're gonna use a like remote steering. Uh, the throttle comes in two pieces and the um, shifter comes in one. The shifter is the thing you have to modify. It doesn't fit. Your motor might be modifiable. Mine was not. This is the least upgradable motor I've ever purchased. Um, but just with the way it goes here. So uh, nothing can be done. Like I want to put an electric start, but the electric start goes here. So I'll have to move all this stuff and cut this and put a new flywheel. So anyway, but here's how this goes. This uh, throttle, this little piece, the problem is you have to drill into it. So if you look over here, there's three holes you have to drill, uh, two. Uh, you have to drill the hole here for that uh, piece that holds the wires and then uh, the cables. And then you have to drill, you don't have to drill one for the shifter, but you still have to do some heavy duty work on that uh, mechanical stuff, welding. And then there's a throttle that goes here. I found an old uh, diagram, an old picture of somebody who did this. That's where I got the idea. And I'll leave the link where to buy this kit. I think you can buy it on Amazon. I bought it on a site called Lazada. Uh, that's what you have in the Pacific region. This boat is in uh, where I have a house in the Philippines. So um, the throttle pretty much, let's see, the, let's do the throttle, the easy one. It comes in two parts and it pretty much fits on as is. There's a, two mechanisms there and uh, you'll, you'll see if you're installing this. And when I do it for real, I'll just, uh, I'll show you that. There, it comes with a bunch of like washers and everything that don't fit. So I had to not put those on there. If you make this too tight, you see this nut has got some play there. So I'm definitely going to be putting some Loctite or something there. You see here, there's no hole on the side. So a lot of fun drilling holes in your brand new motor. Uh, but if you see on the other side there, there's a provision for it. It's just not drilled out. So you have to kind of figure out where that is and drill, you know, start small with a real small hole. It's right here. It has to come out here and drill. So uh, that's what we did there. And then once you do that, the throttle's pretty much easy to do. Now these cables here, they sit on this, um, they sit on this kind of handle here. And this one isn't sitting right because this is a long, this, this shifter is a little bit too long. Evidently they come in different sizes. You need the small size. So you, it'll fit right where the little notch is there. It comes with something to hold the cables down you know, uh, to, to keep them from popping out, but it's it's too uh, big for the, the cables are too big. So I just use a little stainless steel wire. This one's just, because I wanted to test the throttle out. I'll be using a binnacle uh, shifter for this one. I've tested it and it works. The throttle has to be uh, adjusted a little bit because it doesn't kind of spin all the way. I just have to play around with that. Now the harder part is this shifter thing here. Actually, it's easy to install, but you have to modify it. So. Um, basically, this is the shifter, but the um, actual, this is not a compatible piece. If you can find one that has a long metal piece here, so the shifter, the shifter kind of like looks like that, but there's nowhere to attach it to inside. So inside of there, if you can see it, inside there's like a long metal bar. It's about, let's say about maybe seven or eight inches that goes runs through the motor and it engages with a sort of a ratchet at the other side and uh you shift it like you, you can shift it like that but it, this this one here is not compatible and i can't couldn't get another one if you can look at your motor and figure out what kind of shifter you have like the long one or some models of this have a way to just uh, they have that long bolt that goes through it or the long rod that goes through it but you can attach it this way so the only way we could do this was we took the shifter that's there, I took this one, we cut it, 
uh, and then we welded this to here. So that's what this is basically. This is a, uh, this one is, uh, let's see the shifter. It's wet, I, it's, uh, I cut, it, it's not this, we cut it here. We made it about the size it needs to be. When you pull this thing out, this, this thing out, there's like a long rod attached to it. So instead of having this plastic handle, we welded the bars together so it has this metal handle. There's a, probably other ways to do it. Like maybe you could stick this in here, uh, here somehow and like drill through here and you know use that as your thing so you still have the plastic handle. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, you still have to, uh, you have to drill, no, you don't have to drill a hole for this one. So anyway, that's how that works. I'll give you a good long kind of tour of this so you can get, see how this goes here. See the shifter, let's see, Rever you have to spin this prop to get reverse, but shifter works great. And then this throttle, it pushes. It's, you set it to push uh, when you set up the remote throttle. And let's see if we can get in there. In order to get at this bar, it's like right here. It's hard to see for the shifter. You have to take the carburetor off. So I, depending on what motors you're using, uh, but just check the motor. This is a 15 Enduro. There's like A, B, C, D, this F or whatever this model is, is impossible to upgrade. So again, just show you kind of how that works there. You have to drill a hole for the um, throttle. And there's like two things, but they hook up like they give you this little uh the throttle here just go to here where is that okay there's like this little those two pieces and they give you this little hookup bar all it does is it, it, it kind of you push on it and it's this is already built in it just they give you this little metal piece and it hooks into there so it's kind of partially compatible but uh, in my case i had to do some welding to make it happen okay i hope this helps